Hey guys, welcome back to Piping Engineers. We are back with our new videos on wall. In today's video, we will learn about the check walls. We will see what a check wall is, what are the advantages of check wall, disadvantages of check wall, their applications in the industry, and what are the different types of check walls used in the industry. So guys, for more videos and updates, please like, follow, and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin our today's video and learn about the NRV or check walls. So guys, what is a NRV or a check wall? NRV and check wall, let me tell you, they both represent the same thing. Some people call them a non-return wall and some call them check wall. So basically, check walls are also known as non-return walls are one-way walls. So this is the important term and this term itself defines these walls. So one-way wall means in these type of walls, the flow of, of fluid is allowed in one direction. Suppose the wall the fluid is flowing in this direction. So it can, if a NRV is placed here, the flow can free, flow in this direction itself. So no back flow is allowed when a NRV is placed in the pipeline. So they are basically constructed of a clapper or a plate, which is hinged at the top and what happens is when the flow of, of the fluid strikes this plate, this plate gradually opens. And when the back flow uh, strikes this flow, uh, fluid from another direction, this plate closes. So this is basically the normal geometry of this wall. And these walls, they are basically used in your pump lines, most of your compressors, and in th on those pipelines where you don't want your fluid to come back. So these these NRVs are used when you don't want your equipment to get uh, to get destroyed or you don't want your equipment to have any problem while it is working. So basic design of a check wall inhibits backflow in a line. So these NRVs they found a very critical operation, very critical use in your process industries, in your piping industries, and they are used where backflow can hamper my process. So let's move on to the next and let's see what are the different types of NRVs that we use in the piping industry. So guys, basically the types of NRV that we use in industry, they are basically your swing type. This is the most common use of most common type of used NRV. So swing type, they basically are of two types. One is your top hinged, another is your tilting disc. Another type of NRV that is used in the industry based on your requirement or your operational requirement or your design requirement. Next is your lift type. It, in lift type also there are two types. One is your piston type, another is your ball type. Another type of NRV that is used when there is a space constraint. I will discuss it in the next slide. But let me tell you its name. It's dual plate type. And the last but not the least one is your stop check wall. So guys, let, let us discuss all this type of NRVs in detail. So what is a swing type? As the name suggests swing. So something will be swinging like this. So basically a swing check wall I have shown here. This is how a swing check wall looks like. So this plate is hinged from here. And when the fluid strikes this plate, what happens? This plate comes at this level. And this open passage, through this open passage, your flow moves like this. So this is a swing check wall. So now this is the flow if it is moving in the direction in which your swing is placed. But suppose if the flow comes from back direction, what will happen? As this is hinged, when this will strike here, so your swing will get closed. Hence, non-return of the flow is not possible. So where this type of swing type walls are used, they are used in your pump discharges or in your compressor discharges. But, but the limitation of this swing check valve is when you will be moving to the industry, they have a, this flange to flange gap. This gap and this gap, if, you, if your size gets higher, this becomes very much higher, very much bigger. So when you are having a space constraint and your size is greater than 350, we generally don't go for a swing check valve. Either we, in this case, we go for a counterweight dashboard type walls. The counterweight dashboard type is basically the, that wall also uses a hinge. But in that wall, this flange to flange distance is very less. And there is a counterweight that is placed outside the wall. So next type is this swing check wall. What is the benefit of using this swing check wall? If it's having some benefit, then only we will use. Na? This wall minimizes pressure losses and the fluid flow is smooth. 
so the fluid flow is smooth and when pressure losses plays a important role we go for a swing type of wall so another type as i told you it is a tilting disc so if you can see this is the this is the open position of the wall and the flow is coming from this side and this disc is in parallel to the flow direction so this this is a tilting disc and if it if you see it is in a closed position this disc is closed so with the help of this hinge this disc is moving in your quarter quarter turn taking a quarter turn and it is getting open and closed so this is your tilting disc type of nrv so moving on to our next slide let's see the different types of nrvs so the next one is your dual plate check wall uh, guys let me tell you about nrvs their names just their name tells you what we will be what they are of what their what their application is and for what purpose they will be used dual plate as the name suggests there will be two plates dual means two so if we will be using two plates to control to check the to control the flow direction it will be your dual plate check wall so what happens in this type of flow in this type of wall if you see there are two plates one is this and another is this so this is the closed position so what happens when the flow comes from this direction this plates uh, comes to this type of position and the flow goes from this there uh, from this where this place and this place so this is your dual plate check wall so what happens is if you, uh, dual plate check walls they are used in your low pressure liquid and gas service lines because in high pressure there is a problem that these plates may get damaged and your these plates may get loosen up and they may stop working because if you can see there is a spring used in this type of wall dual plate check walls so and one more thing about this is if you are having a space constraint in your lines dual plate check walls are preferred they are flange to flange gap as i told you in swing type check walls flange to flange gap is very big and their size is very large so in where the, where we are having a space constraint we do not go for a swing check wall if if space or layout permits we go for it but if layout doesn't permits we can i we can we also consider about this dual plate check wall because if you can see this is very less flange to flange gap is very less in case of your dual plate check wall these are also known as wafer type check wall so these are in sandwiched between the two flanges that are mounted on your piping next is your lift check wall so guys lift check walls basically when we talk about steam or any high pressure lines or any high velocity lines we consider this lift check wall so lift check walls were also of two types one one is your plug type check wall and another is your ball type check wall so if you see the fluid is entering from this direction so this is your lift so when this lift goes upside your flow will start coming from this direction and so this uh, what happens is this this plug gets lifted in your uh, vertical direction this moves like this so this is your lift check wall and if you use instead of instead of this lift if we if we go for a ball so this will be used you know known as your ball type lift check wall so basically the disc is pref perfectly set on the seat with full contact they are suitable for installation in horizontal or vertical pipelines with upward flow so i told you in case of steam lines basically we go for this lift check wall so moving on to next let's see about the advantages disadvantages of this type of walls so guys advantages as it's a wall it's having a wall is always having some of the advantage so this wall is self automated we don't need require any person like we require for a gate wall or for a manual operated butterfly wall to operate it it is a self automated wall as you can see this hinge if this is a hinge the flow will strike on this hinge and this hinge will change its direction so this these are self automated no power is used and no human in intervention is required in this wall in these walls they have their this advantage and this is one of the most beneficial advantage of this type of walls now where if we come to the disadvantage disadvantage is your noise water hammering so what happens is and this if this suppose this disc is hinged at this position and when the flow is striking uh, and this disc is opening suppose if i if my flow comes if my uh, uh, flow rate goes down and my pressure rate goes down so what happens this disc produces a uh, clapping sound or a noise sound so this disc will again uh, strike with your body of the wall so water hammer and reverse flow are common problems with check walls 
so reverse flow basically happens in your if the if your hinge gets destroyed if in case of dual plate check wall your if your spring is not working properly so there may be chances that flow starts coming return so that's a case of wall failure uh, actually every wall has some life and if you if your wall selection is not correct and you have not selected the parameters of the wall correctly so this may be the problem that you may face so it is very important to note that this problem generally occur as i told you because of him proper sizing or selection of the application if you have not selected your pressure temperature rating correctly then you may face this problem so applications as you as i already told in my previous slides also they are used in discharge lines of rotary equipments like pumps compressors so that back flow doesn't harm the equipment so guys if the back flow is having a back flow can harm my equipment in case of a pump it may the back flow may strike my impeller and may destroy the vanes of my impeller so in similarly in case of compressor the back air can harm can affect impact my compressor and may destroy my equipment so guys these are the basic advantages disadvantages and applications of the nrv i hope you would have understood about the basics of nrv and you would have understood what are the different types of nrv you can select while designing an application or while working on a system so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel guys thank you for watching the video thanks a lot